So I often think of the nightingale as really an African bird that comes to England in the summer with this exotic, exquisite song. Why it sings at night, we don't know. It's just the ecological niche that it has found, a time where it can get its voice even further to lure the females that may be a mile away to let them know that the male is there and ready and waiting. But also the technique and the decoration of the nightingale is so absolutely incredible. They're using their two voice boxes of their syrinx. They can throw their voice into, they say, 200 different styles of, uh, of phrasing. There's been some incredible studies listening to the different types of song and relationships between different birds um, because, of course, they're very territorial and the males, when they sing, display all sorts of different personalities. But they say there are three traits among male birds. The ones that are always trying to avoid interrupting each other and very cautious of uh, singing at the same time. Also the disruptors, the birds that when they hear another nightingale, they're constantly trying to overplay and interrupt the rivals singing. And then they're the ones that sing on regardless of what else is going on and pay no attention to other nightingales. <laughs> 